Hello there, it's Mansfield today on a Sunday. And once again, we uh, invite the uh, associate editor of Stuff magazine to join us in the form of Nick Cowan. Nick, nice to have you with us again. People may not understand exactly how um, YouTube uh, chats work and the rest of it. Um, what we do is we send you um, out what we call a briefing form and then you tell us what, uh, what, what you're going to be discussing. So we've got some sort of idea of what we're going to be discussing. Yours are po quite possibly the worst briefing forms we get. I'll get, read you the briefing form we got from you. 12 minutes. That's all it said. <laughs> 12 minutes. <laughs> so you're basically saying I'm the best at something. <laughs> what is... I'm number one. <laughs> you're number one. What is 12 minutes, Nick? Okay, so 12 Minutes is an indie game that's currently available on PC and Xbox Series X on Game Pass. And um, have you ever seen the film Groundhog Day? Yes, yeah, lovely film. Okay. Right, so um, in Groundhog Day, obviously, Bill Murray's stuck in a time loop, and he's the only person who knows that he's stuck in the time loop. Um, imagine Groundhog Day was directed by Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, Groundhog, imagine Groundhog Day as a thriller. Essentially what happens is you start off, there, there, there are three characters in it. Um, they, they are literally called husband, wife, cop. And what happens is that you play the husband, you come home, your wife's made a really nice meal, you have this really nice meal with her, then there's a knock at the door, um, this cop bursts in, he... Uh, zip ties the, the couple and is demanding the whereabouts of a watch from the wife and accusing her of murder. Um, and then he strangles the husband to death. And then the whole thing starts all over again. And the only person who knows what just happened is the husband. And he has to convince his wife that they're, A, they're stuck in a time loop and between the pair of them try to sort a way out of it where he doesn't end up dead or, you know, she doesn't end up dead sort of thing. What, what, sort of, what sort of options is the husband given here? I mean, what can he literally try and do to prevent this, this, continuum, this continuum going on and on and on? Well, this is the thing. He has to convince, first of all, his wife that he's stuck in a time loop. And, of course, like if we had had this conversation before and I started telling you, Jeremy, we've had this conversation before. Um, at the beginning of the conversation, you said X, Y, and Z. You'd go, okay, how does he know these details? Um, say, for example, um, someone knocked over a microphone stand in the, in the studio. I would tell you literally a couple of seconds before someone's going to knock over a microphone stand, Jeremy, yeah, right. and then it would happen. And then maybe you'd be a bit more open to the idea that I am actually stuck in a time loop and um, something bad's going to happen. We need to work our way out of it. Um, it's one of the genius uh, aspects of the game in that, like, not just do you have to look at the events as they unfold, but you have to actually listen out for clues. For example, when you come home the first time, um, your wife says, oh, it's clear skies and all the rest of it. And the next thing you know, there's thunder and it starts raining. The second time you're in the time loop, you can literally go to the window and say to your wife, there's going to be thunder any minute now. And she goes, oh, well, it's clear skies. And then the thunder booms and all of a sudden she's going, okay, this is a little bit spooky. It sounds very different to your, your usual sort of games, um, Nick. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of the AAA games are sort of, uh, you know, role-playing, action RPGs, um, shooters, for example, where essentially you're in the moment and you're doing tasks um, uh, which one thing leads to another X, Y, and Z. Whereas in um, 12 minutes, you kind of have to, it's almost like you have to take mental notes, or if you prefer, you can take notes on a pad of paper um, to, to essentially... Um, take stock of all the things that have happened in the past and use those things to sort of drive the narrative forward. Um, it, it's got more in common with the point and click games of the uh, mid nineties that it does with, uh, with normal fare. But I think that that's one of the things that sets it apart. The other thing about it is it's got some pretty hefty star quality. Um, for example, the husband is voiced very well by James McAvoy. Um, he of, X-Men fame as uh, Professor Xavier. The, the wife is voiced by Daisy Ridley, who you might remember was in the last Star Wars film, as Ray. And the cop is voiced by uh, Willem Dafoe. And if you don't know who Willem Dafoe is, I have yeah. no time. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's, 
it's, it's really often, it's really something different in an overcrowded market where a lot of developers are just sticking to a tried and tested formula because I know that rakes in money. This one kind of pushes the boat out a little bit more. Who's it aimed at, Nick? I would say it's aimed at anybody who loves a good mystery. If you're a fan of mystery and intrigue and thrillers, this is for you. Um, because you have to kind of use the gray matter in a little bit, uh, a little bit differently. Like I said, it's different from shooters where it's all about twitch and reaction. It's a little bit different from um, open world games where you're clearing out a map. In this one, you have to take stock of your immediate surroundings and listen out for clues, look for clues, listen to conversational points where you'll be able to, because you're stuck in a time loop, you'll be able to come back later on and use the information you've gleaned from previous loops to push the narrative forward. Um, essentially, if you are tired of being spoon-fed action and you're tired of you know map clearing and you just want a really good story with a bit of a science fiction twist and um, a lot of intrigue, this is a game for you. And also, if you have a family or if you don't have a lot of time on your hand, um, this is also really, really great because you can wrap it up within about six hours. Okay, wrap up a murder in six hours. That doesn't sound like a, doesn't sound like a South African version of anything, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good one. Thank you very much, Nick. Nice talking to you once again. Nick is the associate editor of Stuff Magazine, and he looks after our tech and gaming aspects here on a Sunday on Mansfield Today. He'll be back next week. Hope you enjoyed it, and enjoy your 12 minutes if you're out to go and get it. Cheerio, bye. Oh,